Hey, and welcome back, Zingers, to another pro tip video. I am your host, Ryan Faluna, and I am here with Big Beat, and today we are going to discuss using the screener tool. So right here, I've got a blank workspace in Pro. I'm going to add a screener to this workspace by clicking the screener button at the top or the screener button from the left-hand menu, and it's going to go ahead and load in a screener. Now, the first thing that you're going to see here in this first row is overview, valuation, financial, trend following, and last candle. And basically all that is are presets for the columns that you can find in the results list. So you'll notice here on overview, it's giving you market cap, price, percent change, change, etc. If you click on financial, for example, it's going to give you some other columns. It's going to give you dividend yield, gross margin, operating margin, profit margin, etc. So uh, you can actually add custom columns in here. These are just presets for you. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and click on Overview, and then I'm going to go to the next row, which is Filters, and click on All, and I'm going to have Steve tell you about some of the filters. Steven? That's right, Ryan. We can actually filter down those equities even further down with custom filters or preset filters, however you want to do it, right? So, Ryan, a couple things that we always want to look for is maybe we want to look for the market cap of a company. So, if you click on market cap, you can either have the presets that we have or you can add customs ones to that you want to put in. That would be a hundred million to a billion dollar company market cap. All of a sudden, you're able to filter that down. You can also filter it by volume, PE, peg ratios, uh, institutional ownership, float percentage, all kinds of things, Ryan, all throughout the screener itself. And all of those different filters have these presets that you mentioned in there. Um, also, additionally, when it comes to the filters, you've got a couple of life hacks here that make them easier to use. When you have a filter that's been populated here, you can actually uh, remove the column from the table beneath by clicking the little uh, minus symbol with this, uh, within the circle. You'll see here, if I do that on market cap, it gets rid of market cap from the column list. Additionally, you can clear the filter box by clicking the little eraser at the far right end of the filter. That will zero out that particular filter. Now, since I removed market cap and that's obviously one that we want, I'm gonna go ahead and add it back by clicking the same shortcut of the little plus sign within the circle and it will add that that column back to the results list. Now, what's great here is that there's also a button to reset all filters. So as Steven mentioned, he listed off several of them. Some of the filters are actually at the lower end here. They're kind of at the bottom. And if you forget how many different filters that are on there, you can simply reset them all by clicking reset filters. Now, as I mentioned, you can custom add columns. So on the left hand side here, there's a button for columns. And if I click on that, it's going to allow me then to search for and add and remove any column that I want. Now, I know that Steve is a real big fan of the peg ratio. So if I wanted to go ahead and add peg ratio, all I have to do is start typing it in the search box and it will find the result for me. Check the box. Boom, peg ratio has been added to the screener. So, um, Stephen, I know that you also use the screener to build some of the watch lists that you give out to our pro members. Can you tell us a little bit, a bit about the export function? That's right, Ryan. Once I've done that, once I've got it filtered down to what I'm looking for, at the very top right-hand corner, you will see a little down arrow with a little half box there. You can easily export that into a Excel document. That's right. So all you have to do is click that box. And as Stephen mentioned, it will export all of this data into a CSV file that you can then open up in any spreadsheet editor. So I went ahead and clicked that button. You can see here that it's created a CSV file and downloaded it for me in the bottom left-hand corner. Some other options that you have up here are uh, resetting presets to default, candle interval, and then an automatic refresh rate. So uh, the screener is a very valuable tool. Steven and I use it on a regular basis. We're really happy to add this offering to Pro. Until next time, traders, happy trading.